speed multiplied by time is equal to distance. This tells us that if we know any two parameters, we can easily find the third. But that's not all, it tells us a lot more. If one of the parameters is constant, then the other two are related to each other in a special way. Let's assume that the distance is constant. If d is constant and the speed is increased by some factor, the time will be decreased by the same factor. Let's take an example to understand this. Let's say you travel from your home to the office at 40 km per hour and the distance to the office is 40 km. So you would take one hour to reach work? On the way back, you travel at 20 km per hour. The distance is not changing, it will remain 40. As the speed is 20 km per hour, the time taken to reach back home will be 2 hours. What do you notice here? The speed is scaled down by a factor of 2 and the time is scaled up by a factor of 2. If d is constant and speed is multiplied by a factor, then time will be divided by that same factor. This is called inverse variation, something that we have learnt in school and conveniently forgotten to apply it in our daily routine. What if the speed is constant? If speed is constant and time is scaled up by a factor, then the distance will also be scaled up by the same factor. 20 times 3 is 60 and 20 times 6 is 120. When t is multiplied by 2, d is also multiplied by 2. This is called direct variation. And similarly, if t is constant and the speed is increased by a factor, then the distance will also be increased by the same factor. This again is direct variation. Both increasing or both decreasing is direct and one increasing and other decreasing is inverse variation. This is important and you need to understand this well. Let's take a few more examples. We know that speed multiplied by time is equal to distance. Let's assume the speed is constant. 4 times 3 is equal to 12 and 4 times 6 is equal to 24. The speed is constant. The time is scaled up by a factor of 2 and the distance is also scaled up by a factor of 2. So when speed is constant and time is multiplied by 2, the distance will also be multiplied by 2. If distance is multiplied by 4, then the time taken will also be multiplied by 4. And what about the case when the time is constant? When time is constant, we can say that speed and distance are directly proportional. When time taken is constant and speed is multiplied by 2, the distance will also be scaled up by 2. And if the distance is multiplied by 3, the speed will also be scaled up by a factor of 3. This is direct variation again. And what if the distance travelled is constant? If the speed is multiplied by 2, then the time taken will be multiplied by 1 half or divided by 2. If the time taken is multiplied by 3, then the speed will be multiplied by 1 over 3. This is indirect variation. Take an example where distance is constant. 3 times 4 is equal to 12 and 6 times 2 is equal to 12. The distance is constant. The speed is multiplied by 2 and the time taken is multiplied by 1 half. These simple concepts help us in solving time, speed, distance problems really quickly. Especially when one parameter is constant. So make sure you understand them really well.